Morning. Thanks for joining me again. I'm just setting out from the Helwith Bridge Inn uh, to do Penny Ghent. And uh, it's a little bit longer than the uh, traditional circuit because uh, Helwith Bridge is uh, a bit further away from the normal uh, Three Peaks uh, route but we'll be uh, taking in uh, Plover Hill as well and uh, why not stick with me and enjoy the views because it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day it's the uh, view back to the pub where I'm staying and up across to Ingleborough which I won't be visiting this trip but it'll still be there when we come back so as we start to climb up soon get our first view of uh, the bulk of Penny Ghent in the middle there uh, it's classed as a true mountain at 694 meters or 2277 feet and uh, Plover Hill behind it just down uh, the two of them form kind of a ridge is also a true mountain at 680 meters or I think 2000 230 feet and uh, our walk encompasses the two of them before circling back round. Now it might not show up too well on the GoPro but from this point you can see the uh, mountains of the Three Peaks Challenge so Penny Ghent up there ahead of us scanning round Shrouded in cloud, you've got Wernside and then coming round above the quarry scars is Ingleborough and uh, yeah the Three Peaks Challenge is a route that uh, takes in all three of those in a day and covers 26 miles in the circuit I think and I believe the diehards aim to do it in 12 hours or less so uh, yeah proper decent challenge uh, not for me today I might have a look at Wernside tomorrow but it'll depend how my back goes after today <laughs> don't know whether you can see it too well but the village of Horton Bridge is just down there and I think that's where the uh, Three Peak Challenge route officially starts and uh, it knocks a few miles off the route I'm doing today before you reach Penny Ghent because of course if you're doing 26 miles and taking in three mountains you probably don't want to add two or three additional miles onto your route <laughs> but for a, a day hike the route I've chosen A it parks up in a much quieter area with a nice pub that I can stop over and uh, B it increases the mileage up to a, a nice decent day hike and again looming ominously into view now some say it's Yorkshire's finest and uh, who am I to argue? What a spectacular lump of rock! The countryside around here is littered with these sinkholes and potholes down into the limestone. And there's like a kind of a limestone causeway stretching out there in front of me just beyond the uh, 
sinkhole. I'm uh, just over four kilometres in now and uh, probably got about half a kilometre, a kilometre till the steep ascent starts but it's looming in front of me now it looks absolutely awesome uh, just see around the east side of it as well and they say this has a, a different uh, appearance from every aspect and yeah you can see some of that slog to the top. Oh and steady. <laughs> done a little bit scrambly towards the top but then once you're over the worst of it, it just turns to a, a paved path up to the true summit now I was thinking of doing this route uh, clockwise and going down that ascent but uh, kind of glad I didn't really as uh, something about going down a scramble that's uh, never quite as easy as going up so I'd recommend anti-clockwise change of hat time because it's a bit breezy up here and the other one's got uh, a rim on it so it's probably gonna disappear off into the Yorkshire countryside if I'm not careful. Uh, so I've just left the summit of uh, Pennygent and I'm heading over to Plover Hill. Some people seem to say Plover but I can only assume it's named after the bird so unless it's a strange local pronunciation I'm gonna go with Plover. It's about a mile and a third along the ridge. I think you have to drop down and back up again a little bit. Uh, it's about uh, just coming up to half past ten in the morning and I think I just got to the top of Penny Ghent in the nick of time. Because uh, it gets quite busy with the Three Peaks Challenge. And just as I got to the top, you could see a procession of people coming up behind me. So I just got in ahead of that. So uh, if you, you know, that's it, that's on a Tuesday during the week. So uh, if you are heading up here, it might be worth doing it a bit early or maybe a bit later after the rush has gone. But as soon as you leave the summit, it's complete peace and quiet again because all the 
Three Peaks challenges, head straight down and uh, the shortest up and down route just comes straight up to the summit and back down again so I don't think everybody takes this route out over to Glover Hill. But look at it though, it's gorgeous up here. Just enough cloud cover to keep the temperature down a little but uh, it's not so low that you aren't getting the views. I can't tell you just how peaceful and quiet it is up here. Not another sound apart from the skylarks and meadow pipits. Fantastic. And uh, Wernside just winking at me in the background, asking whether I fancy it tomorrow or not. We shall see. Looking back up the way we came, up Pennygent, it's just a benign green lump. You don't get a sense of all that uh, cragginess on the other side. grouse bothering. Don't harm anybody. Better than shooting them. Gets a bit more boggy as we uh, skirt round now towards the summit of Clover Hill. Yeah, it's a fair old slog actually with it. Uh, been so rutted and boggy but uh, yeah not too bad if you just take it easy and watch where you're putting your feet so you don't disappear up to your chin <laughs> right just on the top of uh, Plover Hill now just taking a breather uh, 680 meters 2230 feet above sea level but it's very kind of flat and gentle there's no real sort of features to it, it's just kind of open moorland and uh, it's a bit early yet but I might just grab something to eat before we start to loop down now and round to the village of Horton Bridge where a lot of the uh, Three Peak Challengers start and uh, then cross over the River, river Ribble and um, head along the Ribble back to Helwith Bridge. Been a cracking walk so far though, beautiful. Just leaving Plover Hill now to start the drop down. And a little uh, bit of sustenance. And, uh, great views over to, uh, I think that's where inside over there. I only assume it is. As you probably guessed, I'm not on my uh, local patch today at all. An impressive view down the valley. Not really expecting that. Lower Hill looks a bit more impressive from this side after you've descended down. Didn't see any plovers mind you. Saw some wheat ears. After you drop down off Plover Hill you'll see a fairly well defined track to your left. It's not right at the bottom of the valley. You take a left along there. It's actually marked on the map as uh, a Pennine journey which is obviously uh, some sort of trail, I've not heard of that one before. And I think it's around about 
six kilometres along there uh, to get back to Horton Bridge uh, where there's a pub so uh, let's see what it looks like <laughs> it'll be just around time Temp fate. The weather's been kind so far. I just feel a couple of spots of rain now. Did say there might be a couple of showers, but uh, I've got my waterproofs in the pack anyway, so uh, won't be a problem. A little spoon. Nice and rain. And it just appears into the rock. What was that? Disappearing stream. <laughs> That's called a uh, hull pot, H U double L. And just for scale, there's four people just sitting up on top of it. It's absolutely massive. Just uh, rejoined the Pennine Way again. And it's. Uh, last kilometre or so down to Horton Bridge or Horton in Ribbledale or whatever it's uh, actually called the village. So yeah the views are absolutely stunning. Back up onto Penny Gent behind me there. To my left. Okay, just coming down to the, the village of Horton in Ribblesdale. Uh, where we need to go across Horton Bridge to get across the River Ribble. Uh, just covered just over 10 miles up to this point. And if the pub's open, it's such a nice warm day. Might stop for a pint. Pub looks all shut. Now to look. Never mind. Show you the River Ribble. I just want to cross over here and take a left. And there should be a riverside footpath that takes me more or less back to uh, the uh, Hellwith bridge where we're staying. This final stretch down by the river, really lovely. We've got uh, Penny Ghent up to the left and way up to Ingleborough to the right of us. The huge big limestone quarry up there as well that you can see Ingleborough's just behind that. But yeah, this is uh, gorgeous down here. Right, just on the last stretch now, back to the pub. Uh, so I'll say to Rati here, if you've uh, stuck with me this far, thanks for uh, joining me. And uh, if you want to see more walks and hikes and everything, don't forget to uh, click on the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell icon. And if you wouldn't mind giving it a like, it helps enormously. Uh, 
So we've run about 13 miles all told. It's been an absolute fabulous walk. I've really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, ready for a pint now. I hope his bar's open. So uh, I'll bring you back for a cheers maybe. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. White Witch, more houses. <laughs>